guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I am so happy you're here. Today's video, as you see from the title, we are going to be doing a giant fall decor with me. I just moved into this house a couple months ago, so I am so excited to dive in and decorate for fall. If you guys didn't see the part one of this fall decorate with me, I will have that linked right here for you to go watch. I took you guys along shopping with me to get all of this stuff that you see here on the table. We went to Home Goods and we went to Target and let's just say I went a little bit over budget but as I mentioned in that first video, I am starting from scratch with this house since we just moved in. I did not have any previous fall decor. Kyle, my boyfriend and I, we lived in apartments prior to this house, so I never really felt the need to decorate that crazy for the holidays. But now that we have moved to a city where our family is and we'll be hosting holidays, I am so excited to finally get the chance to decorate our home. So I am just gonna dive into it today and I don't have a huge plan. I have this whole table like stacked <laughs> with decor as you guys saw. So we're gonna start with just the obvious things of like the wreath, blankets, pillows, like the bigger things. And then I don't have a plan of action as far as everything that I bought. I had ideas in my head of where that would look good and places I could put things, but I also want to get your guys' opinions. So I'll be taking you guys along with me as I decorate the house and I'll be asking you guys like what you think looks good. That way you can comment down below. And yeah, let's go ahead ahead and get on into this video. All right, we have a lot of decor to go through and we're going to decorate every room in this house. But before we go decorating, I want to clean the house up, kind of like a spring cleaning. We're going to do a fall cleaning, just like vacuum, dust, things like that. I just want to make sure I'm cleaning everything before I go in and throw a bunch of decorations on it. So let's do a quick little cleaning session. because there is no fall season without Gilmore Girls. So let's go ahead and commence the decorating. These are the knit pillows that I got from Target that I was talking about. I am going to add a colorful throw blanket as well, but what do we think of the situation so far? I know it's a lot of creams, like those pillows <laughs> match the couch, but I personally like that. I love just like creamy white colors in the house. And I think with like a throw blanket over it, it'll be really nice. But comment down below if you think I should keep cream or switch out to like a more colorful pillow. This pillow, it has pumpkins on it, which I know I mentioned in the last video I wasn't a fan of. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Is are the pumpkins cheesy or are they kind of cute? I honestly feel like out of all the cheesy pillows, this one's not that bad. But if it is a little too cheesy, I like that you can just reverse it. And I love that like burnt orange color. So how are we feeling about the couch setup? Now, I do have these olive green pillows I could keep on the couch, like a little layered look. What do we think about that? I feel like this olive green is still kind of like a fall color. At the same time though, it kind of looks a little too Christmassy to me, but maybe if I turn this pillow around to have pumpkins on it, 
then it would give more of like the fall effect. Let me know what you guys think. Should I just keep the creams, get rid of the green pillows or add a little bit more color? Now, originally I did have this knit throw on the couch, which is definitely still fall, still cozy. So I can keep that, but I'll show you the other throw blankets I got. Okay, next option, I have this really pretty kind of like pinkish, it's like a burnt orange in person, color throw blanket, and it matches perfectly with that pillow. And so we could keep that with just the cream pillows or keep the green ones, but I really, really love that pop of color. blanket that I purchased is this really really buttery soft one it's coming across kind of brown on camera but it's a little bit more like burnt orange color as well I guess that's just the theme the color scheme I'm going for but how do we feel about this one this one's probably the most like comfortable blanket to cuddle up with just because it is so soft but do we think it's like too dark for the couch and I feel like if I did that I would avoid the green pillows and just keep it more neutral went ahead and stacked the green pillow on top just to kind of see how that looked. I'm not entirely sure I love that color, that dark orange color on the couch, but I don't know. I feel like it could also grow on me. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, moving on. We will come back to the couch situation a little bit later. Next, I'm going to put up this wreath. I am so obsessed. I looked for all sorts of wreaths at Target and Home Goods, and I honestly could not find anything I liked until I was like walking out the doors literally on the way, you know, when they get you at the cash registers when they have like extra stuff. This was right by the cash registers at Home Goods, and I love how it's just like simple. I didn't want pumpkins and apples on it. I just wanted it to be like a pretty neutral color. I love like the grass look, like that neutral grass look. So let's go ahead and hang this on the door. Okay, I love how this one looks. I think it's just so pretty. Go check your nearest home goods if you like this one. It was fairly inexpensive too. The one we had before was kind of more like a spring wreath. So I like this that this just like adds a little bit of fall to the door without being like too much. As long as we're out here on the front porch, these cute little lanterns really caught my eye at home goods i was originally looking to get two of these black ones like a tall and short one but then i saw this yellow it's kind of like a burnt yellow one and i thought that'd be really cute to pair together like just something different instead of two black ones so we have a really cute like little front porch area that i thought i would put these out and then maybe like a little pumpkin or something That means yes. Okay, so instead of putting just like a plastic pumpkin out here that'll get ruined, I'm going to go to the pumpkin patch at some time in like the next month or so and get like a real white pumpkin or like a beige pumpkin or something like that and put it like in the middle of these two lanterns, but I really like it. I like the pop of color that the yellow offers. I feel like it kind of goes with the wreath. I don't know. Let me know if you think I should have stuck with two black lanterns or if you kind of like the pop of color. Also, when I got home, I realized I definitely should have got some sort of fall decor mat. So I think I'm going to look online for some sort of like cute fall themed front door mat. Okay, we still have all of this left. We got like the bigger stuff out of the way and now it's time to figure out where to put all of this. did was I just added some of this like neutral I don't even know what you want to call that like <laughs> wheatgrass to the green plant I like this candle I think I'm gonna keep it up here I don't know I have another pumpkin candle I could potentially put here and then I just added this really cute white pumpkin I don't know I feel like I could even add something else but for now we're gonna keep it like that and then we can come back to it
couple updates. I went ahead and added a few touches to these shelves that we have in our kitchen area. Just added a pumpkin smelling candle, a actual pumpkin shaped candle here, and then a little orange candle there. And then as you guys saw in the living room, I went ahead and added some cute little garland on our TV stand. This is the same. And then I added this cute little tray on our coffee table. I knew I wanted something to keep our remotes in and like coasters in, but then I just added a few pumpkins. I actually didn't know that these were candles when I bought them. I thought they were just like decor pumpkins, but they are candles. They smell really good. And then just like a few little acorns. Let's go ahead and move on into the kitchen. First, coming over to the coffee station, we have this cute little coffee station already in our kitchen. This isn't necessarily fall decor, but I found this in the Target dollar spot, and I thought this would be so cute to maybe like hang on the wall or even just like set down behind it. I'm gonna play around with that. And then I also got these cute little mugs. This one says, Hey there, pumpkin. I love it. And then I got this little pumpkin shaped ceramic mug. So I think I'm gonna like display these in the coffee station. Okay, so I could either do a coffee bar sign just like sitting on the ledge like that. So it could be like a better look or I can always hang it. I get a little command strip and hang it actually on the wall like that. Let me know what you guys think. I was thinking about just keeping the cute little fall mugs out at all times just for like a little bit of decor. The cutest little soap dispenser I thought would be really cute in our kitchen. It's just a pumpkin spice hand soap and just like little touches like this around the house really add a lot. I knew I wanted to switch up our towels, like our hand towels that we had, but I didn't want to get any that like weren't usable. I wanted some, some that were still like absorbent. So I found these knit ones. I'm not huge, huge on this print, but I figure I can always like flip it to where it just shows this side. And then I love the orange. And then I thought this would be like a cute little intermediate neutral to put in between them. over here and then I put the like back end of the pumpkin one so it's more just like a creamy color with the neutral on top. I could still do the pumpkins like I do think the pumpkins are kind of cute they're not too cheesy by any means. Um, let me know what you guys think. I was thinking about doing pumpkins on top of the orange one like this. I think that would be really cute too or should I just keep it neutral? Comment what you think. stand. I'm trying to decide which pumpkin looks better here. I got this really, really pretty glass pumpkin. It's like blown glass and I don't know where to put it. So I thought it might look cute here, but the white pumpkin also I feel like looks good here and I don't know where else I would put the white pumpkin. So comment down below if you think I should put the glass pumpkin here or the white pumpkin. I think I'm going to decorate our little butcher block. I totally spaced. I forgot to get candy corn. I We're a candy corn family. I feel like you either love it or you hate it. We love it. I'm going to fill this cute little, it almost kind of looks like a pumpkin, glass to the top with candy corn. And then I thought maybe the white pumpkin would look cute over here. It just kind of adds a little bit of something on the countertop. Okay, I have used up every piece of decor that I bought, so I'm sure I'll rearrange some things every now and then, but I think I have everything where I really, really like it. I'm so excited. The house is like so cozy right now. Let me show you what I've done so far. So I just added this super minimal decor piece in our sunroom. I didn't want anything too crazy, but I saw this wooden stand and I fell in love with it. And I thought it'd be really cute just to add like a little pumpkin, some pine cones. And then originally I had a short candle, but I switched it with this tall orange candle. Let me know if you guys 
think I should keep the short white candle or do this like tall orange candle. To the kitchen, I added these cute little towels, that little pumpkin soap dispenser. Again, imagine that that little crystal pumpkin is filled with candy corn. Moving on to this side, nothing too crazy. I just kind of rearranged. I put these more like neutral colored flowers over here. I put a little candle over here and then I added this just like tiny little pumpkin. And then I love how this coffee bar turned out. I think it's so cute, so cozy in the house. This is probably my favorite decor piece that I did today. I love this little wooden tray. It's exactly what I had in mind and I found it at Home Goods. I think even just like the little metal legs are so cute. And then as you saw, I just added a couple of candles, pine cones, and then these are actually tiny little pumpkin candles too. I thought about changing out the placemats, potentially changing out this runner, but honestly it gives kind of like cozy fall vibes anyway. So I don't see a reason for spending money on like new placemats and everything, but let me know what you guys think. I could always do a different runner, like a little like burnt orange color runner or something. I think that would also be cute, but comment down below what you think. Right, moving in to the living room, this is what I've decided on as of right now. I went ahead and put that darker blanket up on our little blanket ladder for now. That way we can still use it because it is so soft and cozy. But I thought that this blanket just went so well with that pillow and it's a little bit lighter, kind of more my vibe. And for now, I'm going to keep the green pillows on there and keep that green throw over there. I think it adds just like a really pretty pop of color. I went ahead and added this cute little white mason jar and originally I was going to fill it with candy corn also but I thought this would be a good place to put the remotes and this is just like our little candle lighter in just to kind of like hide them and it also acts as a decor piece and I love 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 this basket I was afraid it was gonna be too big and like overpowering but it's perfect size over here I went ahead and draped the little knit blanket over the leather chair let me know what you guys think I'm not 100% sold on it but I don't know I'm just keeping it there for now I love how the TV stand turned out with a little garland. I decided to go with this glass pumpkin here instead and then our little pumpkin candle. piece I put in my office as you guys saw was this cute candle I could not pass this up when I saw this at home goods it's just a cute little pink candle that says hello fall but I thought it was a perfect little addition to my office I didn't want to be adding too much fall decor in here but I think that's just enough but that is it you guys I was not able to get decor today for the bedroom I thought I might have like a few spare pumpkins to put in there but I ran out of all the pumpkins and acorns I put them elsewhere so I do want to get some more candy corn for that little glass pumpkin bowl and then I also want to look for some Bath and Body Works fall candles to kind of like scatter around the house put one in our bedroom put one in our bathroom maybe another one in my office but I am so happy with how this turned out it feels so cozy in here right now I'm about to go around and light all the candles and do some skincare get in comfy clothes and wait for Kyle to get home and I'm so excited to see his reaction if you guys want to see Kyle's reaction to all of this decor follow me over on Instagram I'll have my handle right here and I will be definitely posting that tonight also if you guys want to follow me on Instagram I will have links to every single thing that I bought today if I can find it and if I can't find links then I will find dupes for the things that I bought and have that in a highlight over on my Instagram profile so definitely go follow me over there if you have any questions or you can just comment down below where things are from and I will gladly reply to you in the comments thank you so much for watching today's video I hope you guys enjoyed this little two-part series fall decorate with me I had so much fun doing it and I'm definitely going to do another one of these for Christmas time I might even do another one for like Halloween decorations in the next month so definitely stay tuned hit that subscribe button if you have not subscribed already comment down below your favorite piece of decor that I bought today and I will see you guys in my next video bye